You spoke of uh, uh, energy that you felt when you came to Atlanta. Where in Poland do you feel that same energy? Well, you will find it. You will find it everywhere. We are a hard-working nation. If we discuss or if we speak about the Polish success achieved over the last 20 years after the collapse of the communist system in Poland, it is first and foremost because of the wise political decisions, wise economic decisions Polish authorities uh, took since, the, since 1989, but also the courage and hard work of our, of our people, which brings about the success we enjoy today. What do you think the legacy of Jeffrey Sachs's advice during that period? the early days when uh, Poland was reconfiguring its uh, economy. What's been the legacy of that? Well, in, 19, in 1989, the, the pace and the direction of the economic transformation was not very obvious. Our government was bold enough, and people in this government were bold enough to take up very difficult and sometimes painful, painful reforms. But after a couple of years since the reforms started, we started to feel the results of those, of those reforms. And the economic success, the benefits that Poland took from the from the courage of the first of the first solidarity for its solidarity governments, benefits the country even now. Do you think that uh, the recent recession was milder in Poland because of those courageous decisions taken? Well, well, definitely, it's the beginning. It's the beginning of the of the story. But in addition to that, I would show I, I would point to a good regulatory system in Poland. Since the beginning of the crisis, we had no single bank collapse. Or, or, or in, uh, insurance institutions in Poland, no single collapse. The gov neither government nor the people did not panic. So they, there were no, I'd say, hasty economic e economic decisions. We are quite huge, like in the United like, like the United States. We have a very huge domestic market, which helps, I'd say, the the domestic drone revenues help our economy. And last but not least, we are members of the European Union. And through membership of the European Union and the flows of, of, of flows of credit, including the, the net the net sums we receive from the from the European Union budget, mostly for infrastructural uh, investments, the situation the situation has been has been stable. But I would definitely attribute the economic success or stability in the times of crisis of the Polish economy to the smart decisions taken by the by the by the current government and the previous and the previous government, which created a solid base for what we have now in Poland. Do you encourage uh, small and medium-sized uh, repre company representatives to come to Poland? I know that UPS is there, uh, Coca-Cola is there, but for the smaller companies, are there opportunities for um, them to develop new markets in Poland? I mean, from this point of view, Poland is a mid-sized European, European country is perhaps a big opportunity or a great opportunity for mid-sized companies, uh, mid-sized American companies. And actually, the small and mid-sized companies in Poland produce a major portion of our, of, of our gross domestic product. So from this point of view, the, uh, I'd say Poland sounds like a great, uh, it, is, it looks like a great place for the investment and should be, uh, I'd say, in the radar screen screen of the, 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 the mid-sized mid American companies. So uh, we have the big companies, the tycoons, the real American, American tycoons present in Poland and successfully developing their businesses. But we are also open for, this, for the small and mid-sized mid companies to invent, invest and cooperate with our companies.